is Slimming World the right plan for you? Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Danielle and I'm on a weight loss health journey. I've been following Slimming World since January and lost around about 14 pounds and I have recently changed over to calorie counting for seven days before committing to going back to Slimming World. So what have I learned and what diet, weight loss plan will I continue doing after these seven days? So we're gonna weigh up the pros and the cons and then I will let you know which plan I am doing. So I have been doing calorie counting for a few days now and there are obviously some really good positive things for counting calories. A lot of people lose weight calorie counting um, and with any diet it is a calorie deficit um the problem i have with calorie counting or where i personally come unstuck with calorie counting is i need structure if i'm left to my own devices i will choose the wrong sorts of food so with calorie counting you are literally just looking at the calories um so banana 100 calories chocolate bar 100 calories i'm gonna choose the chocolate bar because that's what i'm like i think if you probably got a little bit um better relationship with food it may work better for you um but if you need more structure um then slimming world might be better for you so slimming world the pros and the cons for Slim and Wild. Um, the cons I will start off with is things like the fruit. So for example, banana, sin free, mashed banana, five sins. I kind of know where they're going with this because if you had a smoothie, you could probably easily put two or three bananas in with it um, and that's 300 calories. Where in reality, you're not really gonna sit and eat three bananas in a row. I think that's where they're going with it. Um, but I can kind of see sometimes why people get a little bit annoyed with that. Um, but I do think that's where the place that they're coming from is to try and stop you from overeating that particular food. Things like your speed food, cooked speed food, I don't necessarily think is as bad. I mean, it is quite low sin. So for raspberries, I think it's about... 50 grams for half a sin or something like that when it's cooked um and then obviously when it's not cooked it is sin free um but raspberries are such a low calorie food and that's why they can put it as a lower sin when cooked um but with slimming world you kind of have to go in knowing a little bit about nutrition speed food is your food which is really high in nutrients and minerals but also really low calorie dense um so that's the food that you want to really be turning to when you're hungry try and fill up on that sort of food because you can eat a high volume of that food for a low amount of calories when it comes to free food you've got your things like your potatoes your rice your pasta um, and this is where people get really annoyed with slimming world sometimes they're like unlimited carbs that's crazy we've come to a place now where we think carbs is a bad thing in our diet where actually carbs is part of a healthy diet but what you do have to realize is carbohydrates can be quite high in calories um so if you wanted a snack don't choose to have a plate of pasta still be mindful of your portions so as you can tell by the way i'm talking about each diet can you tell which diet i'm going to be choosing without cheating pause this video and pop it in the comments do you think i'm choosing calorie counting or do you think i'm choosing slimming world well it won't be a surprise to say i am going back to slimming world I've tried calorie counting and like I said, I can see the benefits for it. It's great because if you're going out for a meal, you can just look at the calories um, and you haven't got to worry about sins and things like that. But for me, for everyday life, Slimming World has taught me so much. It's taught me how to cook from scratch, like um, pasta sauces, I would just used to use them out of a jar and now I find them so easy to cook from scratch. They're low calorie, they're low in sugar, they're low in salt. 
they're good for you and I know it's not for everybody if you are somebody who is going to choose the high sugar and high fat foods over the low sugar and low fat foods the slimming world might also be the plan for you but if you are somebody who can easily choose fruit over a chocolate bar you want a little bit more flexibility then maybe calorie counting is for you I am somebody with two small children and weighing everything for meals and things like that for my plate is difficult whereas if I cook something which is slim and well friendly which is usually things that we would eat anyway but just cooking them more from scratch um, which is better for us then I can just portion it up what I would usually have and I haven't got to worry about what calories are in my portion just be mindful of my portion sizes I know slimming world works for me because I have lost weight on the plan um so I do know it works for me there is this big thing where they think slimming world is really toxic and everybody is completely entitled to their own opinion but for me it has been the only plan which has actually given me that flexibility and actually been better for my mental health than counting every single calorie and getting obsessed with every single calorie i won't go hungry on slimming well i say this all the time if i've eaten all my sins for example i can't have a chocolate bar but i can have a big bowl of fruit i can have some fat free yogurt it just gives me that little bit of freedom with my food so that is what's happening i am going back to group this week and should i say this should i say this I've actually inquired about being a Slimming World consultant. Now it's only an inquiry and I don't know whether it's something I would have time for or fit into my schedule or depending what area it is and things like that um, or whether I'd even get accepted, let's be honest. Um, but it's something, you know I'm passionate about Slimming World, you know I'm passionate about weight loss, food and things like that. And I just think like, maybe it would be something that i would really enjoy but like i said it would all depend on location times and things like that i'd have to fit it around the kids um but i have sent in the application what are your thoughts about that i don't know how i feel about that would i make a good consultant i don't know <laughs> maybe i'm just best just to sit behind a camera i'm a little bit social awkward sometimes so that probably won't work in my favor but anyway that's a little bit of a like, i wasn't going to say anything but um I was just a little bit of an inquiry um I, I probably won't go anywhere with it to be honest but I, it was one of those moments where I'm like do you know what I would really like to do that um so yeah that's the update on everything at the minute I I'm feeling positive about going to group I think I may stop to group I never stop to group um but I think it might be quite beneficial to go to group um, I was going to do it online, but I... So, I've just had to grab half part. So, that's everything from me today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.